Okay, so when I'm working in my studio, I work and I use all kinds of like scrap paper. And we're going to pretend that this is completely white, okay? And I'm going to show some, uh, a couple of very simple pops here um, so that everybody can do them. So I'm going to take this cardstock, and you can get cardstock anywhere, like in any office supply store. It's a little bit heavier than regular paper. And I'm going to fold it in half. And the first pop I'm going to make is a V-fold. I'm going to use these scissors. And my usual tools are scissors, cardstock, like this, tape, glue, pencil. Um, and, and for cutting out all of this detailed artwork, um, I also use a very sharp uh, X-Acto blade. No, I don't really cut myself very often, although occasionally when it rolls off my table, um, I always have to jump back so that it doesn't like land up, you know, blade first on my leg or foot or anything like that. So I'm going to take this card, I'm going to fold it shut, and I'm going to make one cut, let's see, from, from the bottom here, kind of to the center, just like that, okay? So it kind of makes this flat. And I'm going to fold this flap up to the corner, like so. Okay, so it kind of makes, if you look at it like this, a V. A v folds are very, very important in the pop-up world. That makes, it usually makes the pop-ups move. They're very responsible for moving things. I, I'll use, you know, four or five of them just to make something like this. You can see I hide it because that's the magic, but there are Vs right here that move the feet down. And there are Vs back here. that move the body up and down. So this is just one. So here we are, we have this V, oh excuse me, it's this way. And I'm gonna fold it back into place. I'm gonna fold it the opposite way to kind of loosen up the paper, push it back. I'm gonna open it up like a tent and I'm gonna push that V right through. It's a little like the pyramid. Yeah, it kind of looks like the pyramid. There are V's in the, the pyramid. There's about five or six all work in, in conjunction. And I'm going to close it shut. And then you can see, very simply, a V-fold moving. Now, kids always see this, and they're, they're like, that's going to be a bird. It's going to be a bird. And I'm like, shh, shh, shh. So, <clears throat> so we've, got, we've got this V-fold. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to add what are called layers. And I think we should make some eyes or something like right here, because it does look like a face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this shut, and I'm going to make two cuts right here, just two little ones, just like this. And I'm going to fold them up, just like that, on one side and on the other. And I'm going to put them back. And then what I'm just going to do is hold it like a tent again and push those through those two layers. Very simple, and they, they don't really move as much as just make a structure. So now when we open and close it, we have sort of eyes. And do we have a pen? Uh, yeah. yeah. And I'll show you what I can turn this into. Now, sometimes I'll do some on-the-fly sort of folding and cutting, so I think what I'll do is fold a little beak on there, so now it looks like a bird. But I may be a little bit I'll just quickly, you know, draw some things on here. Now I can usually draw a little better than this when I'm when I'm a little bit more prepared. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and because I've been living with monsters and dragons all this time, I think that a nice, you know. <laughs> Dragon Papa. <laughs> dragon. So that's a very simple dragon pop. He looks hungry. He does look hungry. I think I'm getting hungry soon. Yeah.